Without making predictions on the rest of the year, I'd say that for the first nine months, we have been able to be at a profitable combined ratio for our PNC rebusiness, 99.5 for nine months. We think the third quarter was a tough quarter, but year to date, this is not exactly an exceptional year. These losses are big. Uh, we have great sympathy for the people that have suffered directly from them. Our job is to get the cash into the hands of the insurance clients so that they can disperse it into the field. Very interesting that you point out that you think across the nine months this has not been exceptional uh, sorry exceptional for natural catastrophe because we looked at 2017 and we saw 2018 as a year of recovery and recuperation in many senses for the reinsurers and the insurers as you do a like for like comparison with last year how would you describe what we've seen through 2018 and of course we're still not done here but maybe the worst of the hurricane season could be behind us uh, and then the last point, the worst of the hurricane season is behind us, but unfortunately many other NACCATs don't have the same sort of seasonality, so there's no season for earthquakes, unfortunately. What I would say is 2017 was large, but again, we don't, our scientists would not suggest this was a, a truly extraordinary event. This is a one in 10 year set of losses that we saw in 2017. In 2018, again, what we've seen to date is not unusual for a full, full year load, for Swiss Re Group at least, and my guess is for the industry. The industry is going to have to accept the fact that these losses are going to continue to come at us and be sure that we get adequate pricing for the risk that we insure. So there will be some in our audience who uh, believe that they're in terms of the hurricanes and the typhoons and what nature delivers here, we are seeing a change up because of man-made climate change. Do you take a view on that here at the insurer? So Swiss Re for decades has been pointing out the actual data-based effect of global warming. And I think it's inevitable to conclude that man-made sources have something to do with that. You can never track any specific storm to global warming. What you can suggest and what we have suggested is that the volatility of events and the likely of future events is going to be increased because of global warming in the first case. In the second case, the economic devel development around the world, especially in high growth markets, is putting more assets at risk. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.